Hello and welcome back to our channel. Nora and Lord Byron are here to bring you more of some episode goodness. Now, I just want you guys to know that I love all the recommendations you guys are giving me in the comments. Please know that I do read all of them and check out the stories and I put them in my favorites folder. As soon as I have time to start a new story, I will definitely start something. Maybe it could be one of the stories you guys recommend because I feel like you guys know me well by now. You would know what I would like and I feel like we have the same type of taste, maybe. Maybe I'll learn something new and experience a new genre through your recommendations. Anyway, Lord Byron is doing well. Lately he cries every single night, but you know what? It's fine because he's just lonely. He's just needy. He wants attention all the time. He's so tired. Look at him. He's falling asleep on camera. And I know the light is bright, isn't it? Anyway, this is Lord Byron's Instagram, my Instagram, our TikTok. Give this video a like and let's go continue the mafia's fallen angel chapter 21 there are only 30 chapters in this story so we have about nine chapters left yay anyway give this video a like and let's go oh here we have jenny back at her mom's mom what's going on darling i did something terrible i actually don't think she did anything terrible if anything i think she did the one right thing she could have done in her whole life you know besides divorcing joshua or leaving him define terrible love i sided with my husband's worst enemy i helped him ruin my husband i sealed his death mother my lord what are you talking about joshua isn't the man i thought he was he killed people, signed dirty deals, bribed people for his own gain. He did horrifying things to all of us. Then why are you crying right now? Because I love him. Despite everything, he's the love of my life. Man, if anything, this girl has the worst taste ever. I couldn't let him ruin Luna's life too, just because he wrecked mine. He's in love with another. He always was. He wanted to die along with her. He... <gasps> Oh, mother. There's nothing like a mother's warm hug. You did the right thing. Let him go. You need to focus on Luna and yourself. Let him go. Right? Right. Do the right thing for your child, Jen. Your husband did this to himself. Don't feel sorry for his actions. And we're back at our condo? Oh, our patio. Rooftop, yay. Ty, do you think Kian has feelings for Lex? Girl, still on this? Move on. Do you think unicorns exist? I miss him so much, it hurts. I'm a strong person, you know I am, but when it comes to Kian, I'm vulnerable, weak, and insecure. Girl, literally you asked for it though. Like, you knew what was going to happen after those two weeks were up. That's his power over people, over me. You can't be together, Lou. I know, he can't neglect his family because of me. He needs to do the right thing and keep his distance. You should give Vince a chance. Thank you, Ty. Biffles for life. He cares about you. Oh, whose house? Ooh, Baron. Yo, what's with your grumpy face? Grr, as always, it's literally like he's always so angry. He needs anger management. I need to get out of here. Dad is losing his mind scouring the city until he finds everyone who's working for Joshua. Why aren't you helping him? Because he wants me out of it. The deal's between him and Joshua. It became your deal the moment you showed interest in Luna. Is she with Vince? Yeah, she and Ty are staying at his place until further notice. Her mother's orders. Ooh, I didn't know that. I don't want her near Vince. He's in love with her. Everyone breathing is in love with Luna, except you baron also i did not know that chill not me i'm loyal to my girl even if she's not speaking to me oh my baby i love them both i hate when things slip through my fingers i need to see her just with my eyes all right come with me bros the friendship vince's house oh my god they're actually stalking her creeps i love it though okay what's that noise maybe it's the wind hmm she almost saw us. I can't believe I'm doing this. Do you want to see her or not? Be quiet. She could come back, you butthole. You're in deep because you helped me. Point taken. Uh-oh. There's our rider. That's Ryder, right? He's moving too fast, unpacking boxes by himself. Like, literally, he has thousands of people working for him, and he's doing this himself. What are you doing, Ryder? Unloading boxes, love. But why? Don't you have men for the job? Oh my god, me and Dahlia are like twins. Go inside, Dal. I'll follow you shortly. What's wrong, Ryder? Nothing. I need a distraction. Why? So I don't wind up at Joshua's house right now to blow it up with him inside. Ryder, I thought Joshua understood where his place is. He clearly does not. I've read the file. Dal. A few of my men are working for him. Do you understand? My own family is not loyal to me. The man who protects them, feeds them, looks after their families. My own family stabbed us in the back. 
All right, Er. I'm here for you. All of us are. Then fix the problem instead of unloading boxes. I can't. If I kill those men, my business goes down, Dahlia. Joshua dealt his cards well. He has me under his feet. Whoa, I never knew someone had the gal to do this. What are you talking about? You are right, or Shirley. Nobody has you under their feet. Ryder. Wow, she really hit him where it hurts. He's like, babe, don't you know? Don't you know my pride is hurt? Guard her. If something happens to Dahlia until I'm back, I'm going to kill 10 generations before and after you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Why is she crying again? Is it raining again? Oh, babe, stop crying. She's crying. Why? Surely not because her cat died. What do you think? You heard her today at school. It's time to make up your mind. Let her be or win her over, Kian. Stop tiptoeing around. I can't be with her. Do you want her? I do. She's everything I think, dream, see, and want. She's a reason I stay away. I don't like that reason. I don't want her in more trouble than she is. Then let her be. You're hurting her if you keep pushing and acting like a butthole every time she's around another guy. You can forbid her to be with someone or beat the people around her. Aw, touche. How do I let her be when she's a part of me? Like I did. You did what? I sacrificed my happiness for her happiness. For me, nobody will be as good as Emma. Nobody can be as perfect as she is. Nobody can get me as she does, but when I look back and understand she's better off without me. These cute sacrificial lambs, stop it. I realize her happiness is more important than my feelings. I want to fight my family for her. I want her to be welcome wherever I go. I want Luna to be a Shirley. Oh my God, that is the most romantic thing I have ever heard. You don't always get what you want just because you're a Shirley. Your family might turn the tables and accept Luna as your girl, but at what cost? Will your dad sign documents in Joshua's favor? Will he protect him when the hate through him is deadly? Will Ryder close his eyes and make peace with Joshua when not long ago your mother's life was in danger? I love how Baron is like his conscience. He's like, dude, make up your mind. Also, don't because, you know, it's like not a good idea right now. Keep fighting it. I like seeing him in agony. He deserves it for a bit. No, he won't give Joshua freedom and protection when he hurt mom and him multiple times. Walk away don't ruin their lives just for your happiness. Exactly like you did. Exactly like I'm still doing. You have no idea how many times I booked myself a plane ticket and then promptly ripped them up with my own hands. Dude, don't you know they don't print tickets anymore? It's time to move forward and do the right thing, Kian. Sorry, mate. I know it sucks. Aww. We're here for you. Just don't date Lex like anyone but her, please. I left Luna crying with a bitter taste in my mouth. We're over, but she will always be in my heart. She's my moonshine, the love of my life, my everything I couldn't have. I never cry, but my eyes are red. <laughs> okay? And as much as I love her, I can't have her. That's why I knock on Lex's door. Oh, no. No, 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 no. How dare he? She can make me forget Luna. Babe, you have to date Vince. Like, now. Kian, what are you doing here? I'm sorry. Was I sorry? Yes, because Lux will end up in tears exactly like Luna sooner or later. Like, you care? Come in. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen? Please tell me he, like, leaves the house right away. She's reading her romance books? Mm -hmm. La la la. Reading a book. Oh? Who that? Hey, Ty. We're going out. To a club? Come with us. Go stay in bed. We're going. If he's having fun, we're gonna have double the fun. Yes, I am vengeful like that. Let me change first. Take your time. <sighs> okay, what are you gonna wear? I'm watching my phone like a lunatic. Why isn't he texting? Don't I deserve an apology after what happened between us? Can he just erase me from his memory? Text him. Wait, don't text. Wait. Oh my god. Okay, so like personally, as me, Nora, I would never ever text him. But I feel like Luna would, you know what I mean? Like, she's just desperate enough for his love. Also, he does owe us an apology, so we're gonna text him. Just, you know, to guilt trip him a bit. I hate your side. Why would you text that? You should've just been like, I hate you. Hmm. He didn't read the message. Huh. Maybe we shouldn't have texted him, now I regret it chocolate or vanilla huh luna doesn't like ice cream she's not into sweets we're not even at a club we're at a coffee shop what who doesn't like sweets i know i don't actually luna our little devil give her popcorn or anything salty and you won't get a bite what's your favorite snack lou lou what the heck wait is luna screaming what happened whoa lou what did the poor phone do to you i'm out of here is it about kian again obviously what do you think let's go after her good idea i love that these two nicest sweetest guys are literally at my beck and call like i don't deserve them well luna doesn't deserve them i deserve them i'm a nice girl what can i say uh-oh stop i can't i thought i can give you more tonight but no yay thank you 
I have to go, Lex. Is it about Luna? Yes, I love her and being intimate with you feels like a betrayal even though I'm not in a relationship with her. You're in a relationship with me, Kian. It's time to clear the water, Lex. You're great, beautiful, and intelligent. Go find yourself someone worthy of you. I want her. You can't have her. Then no one can do it for me. That's what I said. Stay single. Forever. Why wouldn't you give yourself time? Take good care of yourself. I'm sorry for hurting you. Using me, that's more accurate, okay? Yes, Lex, I used you. Happy now? Stay. After what I just said? Yes, I love you. Do me a favor, be confident in yourself and stand up for you. Whoa, did he not just like become a nice guy all of a sudden? Helping her like be confident and cool and not letting other guys treat her like poop? My morals disappear around you. Bye, Lex. It will be better if you forget about me. I'm a big elephant in the room, aren't I? You deserve better than a fake relationship. You deserve better than a girl you can't have. Don't worry about me. You're getting her back? She never left. She's right here, in my heart. <laughs> Poor Lexi. I love you, Lexi Poo. Oh my god, another dramatic whirlwind of a chapter. Wowzies. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Ian will finally man up and get our girl Luna back? Or will Luna finally have enough of this nonsense and date Vince? Date Vince, girl, please. Also, just date him for a bit. Like, make Vince happy. He deserves happiness, okay? Also, I hope our mother is, you know, Jenny is okay. And I hope Ryder finally gets revenge on Joshua because Joshua deserves it. It is long past time for revenge. Anyway, give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys later. Bye.